today's video is going to be on this makeup look. This is a pretty dark and vampy look that is perfect for fall. I know fall is like basically almost over. It's already snowing here in Minnesota, so it doesn't really feel like fall. But I still wanted to get something that was deep and burgundy and fallish for you guys. So I just came up with this. This look was pretty easy to achieve. I didn't use any winged liner or anything like that. So it should be pretty easy for you guys to recreate it. So if you aren't already, then please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know how I got this makeup look, then just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Tarte Teast Tarte Pro Palette. And I'm taking the shade Innocent on a Morphe M441 brush. I'm just going to put that all over my transition area. Then I'm taking the shade Mod from that same palette. I'm just using the same brush that I just used. And I'm putting that over the same exact places that I just put the transition shade. But just keeping it a little bit lower. And the colors in this palette are extremely pigmented. So you just have to make sure to pick up just a little bit. And then work very lightly with them. Otherwise you're going to have like a big splotch on your eyelid. And it's going to be kind of hard to blend out. So just really take your time with this. And make sure you're keeping a really light hand. Now I'm taking the shade right next to that, which is Drama, and I'm switching to a Morphe M443 brush, and I'm going to be putting this color in my crease and my outer V. And then for my lid shade, I'm using Sangria by Anastasia Beverly Hills. These ones are pretty expensive, so I have a dupe for you, and this one is Cranberry by MAC. Cranberry is just a little bit less shimmery, but this single eyeshadow brand is only $6 online at MAC. Anyways, I'm just taking my MAC 242 brush and I'm just going to be putting that color all over my lid. And then I'm just going to deepen up the outer V a little bit and I'm using Drama again from the same palette. And then I'm taking just a little tiny bit of this black shade and packing that into the outer corner. And this is a Sigma E34 brush. So I'm just adding this shade for a little bit more dimension. And then I'm taking my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just going to do a really small line across my lash line just so that my fake eyelashes has something to rest on. And then for my eyelashes I'm using Red Cherry at number 415. Okay, now moving on to the face, I'm going to use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. This is one of my favorite primers for filling in my pores. I feel like it just makes my skin look so soft and airbrushed when I use it. So I'm just going to be putting this basically anywhere that I have issues with my pores being big. And then rubbing it in with my fingers. And then for my foundation, I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin Hydrating Foundation. I'm just going to put two pumps on the back of my hand and then dot that around my face. And then I'm blending that in with a damp beauty blender. It's really funny because I actually love this foundation and it's weird because it's a hydrating foundation and I have oily skin. So normally I tend to go for the foundations that have more of a matte finish and aren't hydrating because I do get so oily. But this foundation, it is oil free and I would notice that it really doesn't break up on me like a lot of other hydrating foundations would do. And I just absolutely love it because it is so hydrating and the winter months are coming up and my skin is getting so dry. So I love it because it keeps my skin looking nice and like fresh and youthful rather than getting really dry and like crepey when I use really matte foundations right now. Then I'm going to use just a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the shade Fawn. I'm just going to put this in the hollows of my cheeks and then at the sides of my forehead. And I'm blending that out with a Morphe M427 brush, which is just a dual fiber brush. This is perfect for blending out cream contours. It just does it so effortlessly, I feel like. And then to highlight my face, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, my all-time favorite concealer. I love this so much for concealing and highlighting. So I'm just putting this underneath my eyes in little triangle shapes and then a little bit on my forehead, down my nose, keep it small, and my chin. And I'm just doing this to highlight the center of my face to bring it forward. Then to set my under eye concealer, I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just dipping a little bit into the cap of it and then dipping my beauty blender into it and just getting a thin layer on the tip of it and then just pressing that in underneath my eyes. 
And I'm doing this to prevent creasing from happening. Now I'm going to set my cream contour and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and I'm taking this shade right here. I just realized I'm using a lot of Anastasia products. That was not planned, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm just taking my Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Brush. I'm just going to be slightly dusting that over where I put the cream contour. Now for my lower lash line, I'm going to smudge the shade Edgy from that same Tarte palette along my lower lash line. And this is a Morphe M432 brush. And then just with a bigger, fluffier blending brush, I'm going to buff that shade out. Then I'm lining my waterline with a white eyeliner pencil. This is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk. I'm just doing this to really make my eyes pop. And then for my highlighter, I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion Highlighter in the shade 02. This is some more bronzy shade. I already added some to my nose and my cupid's bow, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the high points of my cheeks. And then I'm using a Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Brush to put that in my inner tear ducts. Now for my lip shade, I'm using the Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in the shade Blackmail. And then for the lip shade, I'm using the Too Faced Melted Matte Lips Liquid Lipstick in the shade On Point. Okay, so that completes this makeup look. It turned out a lot deeper and vampier than I expected, but I do kind of like it. So let me know what you guys think about it, and also let me know what else you guys would like to see from me. I've been kind of stuck in a rut. So just let me know what you'd like to see from me, and I'll try my hardest to film that for you guys. And if you like this video, then please give a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.